VPS stands for Virtual Private Server, and in this video I'm going to explain what a VPS is, how it differs from other types of hosting, and explain if a VPS is right for you. But first, let's start with the basics. Just like your phone or computer, a physical server in a data center somewhere has an operating system with some physical memory, processing power, and storage space. With virtualization technologies, an expensive dedicated server can be turned into many virtual private servers, each with its own independent operating system and allocation of system resources. Compare this to traditional shared hosting where multiple applications are running next to each other on the same operating system. This can lead to unpredictable performance if one application becomes a resource hog. While shared web hosting is typically cheaper, it is generally less configurable. With a VPS, you have access to the entire operating system, usually at the root level. This is great, but means you are responsible for maintaining backups, updates, and the security of the entire virtual private server. In most cases, VPSs are more scalable than shared hosting. What this means is that more resources can be allocated to a VPS as needed, but a VPS is limited to the physical size of the server. Not only that, but if the physical server fails, all virtual private servers also fail. On the other hand, another type of hosting called cloud computing solves these limitations in a rather complex way, which allows for the ultimate performance, scalability, and availability. When you compare a VPS with other types of hosting, it becomes obvious that it sits nicely in the middle between being cost-effective, performant, configurable, and scalable. Popular VPS providers include Vulture, DigitalOcean, and Hetzner. Notable cloud hosting companies are Google Cloud Platform, Amazon Web Services, and Microsoft Azure. Some traditional shared web hosting company examples are DreamHost, SiteGround, and GoDaddy. For most websites with a small amount of daily visitors, shared hosting is absolutely sufficient, but as your website grows, a VPS is probably the way to go. Large, critical websites are best suited for cloud hosting, while I don't see too many use cases for dedicated servers anymore. Unless you are very technically inclined, I actually do not recommend a VPS for your website or business. Instead, a managed VPS like Cloudways or a managed cloud provider like Kinsta is probably your best bet. While these options are more expensive, you can leave the complexity of managing all the technical aspects of hosting a website like security, backups, and page speed to the experts and spend your time focusing on the content of your website and business instead. I have links for all my web hosting recommendations below, so check them out. And I have these videos right here, which will introduce you to some of my favorite managed VPS providers.